Um, this is based on a photograph I took recently out in Wisconsin. Um, I was painting in plein air um, for a week, but bringing back photographs, I'm really working now with just kind of the memory of the place. Um, I have the sky partially done, but what I've done is I've um, done a drawing, which is kind of the skeleton for any good watercolor, of the scene, trying to create a composition that will be interesting and entertaining. Um, and then after the sky dries, I'm going to go in and just put some of these background trees in very quickly and simply, um, trying not to spend a lot of time or really get overly concerned about the end result. Because if I do my job well, when the painting is done, these background trees won't matter at all. It's always a challenge when you're painting um, just about anything to feel like it's the most important thing in the painting. The truth is the real star of the show is going to be this silo and this barn. So that's where I want to spend most of the time and get most of the contrast, most of the value change, most of um, the edge variety. This stuff over here simply doesn't matter. So we'll just try and keep that in mind. Not easy to do. We're all human beings. We want to try and make it as perfect as we can. But we're really just um, trying to paint quickly, loosely, um, simply, create some measure of entertainment, get a couple of varieties of green in here. Maybe use a spray bottle because we're painting in watercolor. So guess what? Water and color are our friends. And I always try and keep that in mind as well. So we'll just grab some more of the screen and I could keep going all the way across this bottom area of the painting because it's all just farm field. But now we have a sense of the darker value trees are more distant. It's cooler in temperature, darker in value. And as I get closer, I get more of a sense of maybe the sunlight on these fields. So we'll get a bigger brush because we've got a lot of area to cover here. I would like this painting to take me no longer than two hours. Um, it's a great question because um, people often think that working in the studio, you can take more time and the results are more, um, what's the right word, maybe um, professional and thought out. But the reality is whether I'm painting on site or whether I'm painting in the studio, I find that I paint the same way. The only thing that the studio might offer that painting outside does not is the opportunity to spend more time on a painting, but I rarely find that that helps. Um, typically, if I paint quickly and simply, I get the most desirable results. Watercolor is magic. Um, when I teach, I like to call the classes that I teach exploring the magic of watercolor because the medium really is, um, or at least, offers a degree of magic. Things happen in watercolor that you simply can't plan for. Things like this, where the trees are kind of blending with this foreground area, can't really plan to do that. Just have to paint with a little bit of reckless abandon and trust that the medium will do great things if we just let it. So that's the goal. And again, we're painting in watercolor, so we let's use some water. So we, we covered a lot of ground here very, very quickly. And that's the idea um, for me of really exploring the magical qualities that watercolor offers. We can create a road leading into the barn just as simply as taking a thirsty brush and running it across the page. So we've got two thirds of the painting covered already. We just need now to get into the stars of the show, which are the barns, um, the silo, two silos actually, this tractor, and we'll see as we go. Maybe we'll even drop a farmer or two in. Wouldn't be the worst thing. Sunlight coming from this direction, so we'll have cast shadows coming across the ground, across the silo, across this side of the barn will be in shadow, this side will be sunlit, so a dramatic sun effect. Um, should be an interesting and entertaining painting when we get done. That's the goal.